everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today I thought we would work on a welded card. So um, what we're going to do is first choose our image that we want to use to weld, and I'm going to use um, the stocking from Christmas Cheer. So I chose to make mine in the um, blackout feature. Well, this is actually the shadow blackout feature, and I'm going to choose my stocking, and I'm going to add it right to my page here, and I'm going to put it right down here in the corner. And then what I'm going to do is change my size to five and a half inches. Okay. I'm just going to um, put it right there on the bottom of my page. And now what I'm going to do is go over to the Advanced tab. And I'm going to click Copy. And then what I'm going to do now is zoom in on my stocking and I'm going to move it so they overlap on each other. And when they do, it turns yellow. It's kind of tricky to get it to do it, but... Oh, I almost had it. Okay. Once it's overlapped, it's hard to see, but it's yellow right now. And that is how uh, you know that your images are on top of each other. So I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to use my arrow key over here to move my stocking. Actually, I need to flip it first. And then I'm going to move my stocking. Okay, so I'm just going to move it up until the tabs on the top of the stocking meet. And to see that, I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that they are lined up nice. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out again. And now what I'm going to do is go back to my basics page click on group and I'm going to group my two stockings together and then I'm going to click on group again and that has grouped both the stockings together but to get it to cut out so they're welded together you have to go to advanced and weld and when you click off of it you'll see that they're red and then to make sure everything is going to weld nice you can click the preview key and you can see right here it's grayed out which means that's where it's going to uh, be connected when you cut Okay, so now what we're going to do is go back to our keypad here, and I'm going to take off the black or the shadow feature. I'm going to add my stocking, and I'm going to change this to five and a half inches. I'm just going to add this right up here, and then I'm going to go back to my. I'm going to go back to my keypad again, hit the shift, and then I'm going to add the accessories. And then we're going to change that to five and a half inches. Okay, and there we go. So now I'm all ready to cut out. What I'm going to do is lay um, a piece of 6 by 12 cardstock on my mat for my um, base of my card a piece of red for my stocking, and another piece of white for my accessories. So let's go ahead and cut this out. Okay, now that we have everything cut out, um, what I'm first going to do is fold my card, and all I simply do is just wind it up and kind of just uh, pinched it to make my score line. And I'm going to add a little ribbon with the brad right to the top of the stocking. So I'm just going to take my piercer and hopefully go through material, or the fabric, or the ribbon, rather. There we go. And then I'm just adding a brad. My brad says is joy. So I'm just poking that right through my ribbon. And I'm kind of just going to spread my ribbon out a little bit so it's not even. And then I'm going to put that right through my card. So 
So there we go. And that's our base of our card. So I'm going to just get these out of the way. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to here, well, I'm actually going to cut off the little spot where you would actually, you know, maybe hang that on your fireplace if it was a real one. So I'm just going to cut that off. And that's going to get adhered right to here. So I'm just going to use my glue glider that I got from Hallmark Scrapbook. And I got my um, my Gypsy from Hallmark Scrapbook um, and also my um, my new blue Cricut that I just love. My blue, blue Cricut expression. I call her Bluey. Well, I guess it would be him. Bluey. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is adhere with um, some dimensionals as soon as I find them. So this pops up. So I'm going to adhere this right to the top of my stocking. This is like the little, the little edge that comes around. So that I get adhered right to here and I just have to line it up just like that. And then these two pieces right here are our tip of our toe on our stocking and then the heel. Okay, so I'm going to use dimensionals on those as well. It's a really, really simple, simple card. So this goes right here. And then this goes right here. And then what I'm going to do is take my two-way glue, and this is my big one. This is the one I usually use to re-sticky my, my, um, my mat for my Cricut. So I'm just going to go ahead and here, put some of this right on here because I'm going to add some glitter to this. Okay. And I'm just going to use um, Martha Stewart glitter. Um, she has two different ones. There's fine and extra and, um, coarse. So I'm going to use the um, crystal fine glitter. And what I like about this is that it just kind of, you can choose it for it to come flying out or you can sprinkle it out. I'm going to go with flying only because I, I make a mess. And let me get a piece of scrap paper here. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that on. So it gives our card a nice little extra glitter. Okay, and I got a little extra glitter around, well, normally I would just take my little, I have a paintbrush that I use to swipe that kind of stuff off with, but I don't have it right here, so, but anyway, that is all, very easy, simple card, thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christine, and I'll see you next time, bye!